All right, guys, welcome back to a, another part in the outdoor shower series. And this one today, I'm going to be tackling the plumbing for the shower. Right behind all this junk is the outside wall of the house. Right there is where the shower is located. In order to get the water out there, we're going to do our connections right in this area here. Now, we're going to do two connections because we're going to be running a cold line and a hot line out there. Several years back, I ran water out to my shed and I already uh, did a tap on the copper line and converted it over to PEX. For our cold, all I'm going to have to do is just cut that. That's three quarter PEX. Cut that somewhere around there, put a T in with a valve, and we can run our cold right out there through the sill plate of the house. Now, for the hot line, which is right here, as you can see, it's copper, uh, a little more involved. I'm going to have to cut that, put a T in and uh, do a transition over to PEC so we can get it outside. All right, so first and foremost, we have to shut the water off for the house <laughs> in order to cut the pipe. Probably the most important step in the whole process. So as far as this goes now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two cuts. I'm gonna, you can see there's a coupler up there already. I'm gonna try to eliminate that from the uh, job I'm gonna be doing here. Uh, in terms of what we're gonna be doing up there, we obviously have to put a T in. Now, whenever you're installing copper fittings in line like this, in most cases, you're not going to be able to pull the pipe apart to uh, be able to get this fitting up in there and be able to nest the copper into the fitting. All right, you just you end up with a, a geometry problem trying to do that there. You don't have enough movement on that to do it. So when that happens, what you have to do is add in a coupler. And this coupler... As you can see, it doesn't have the stop inside of it. So what this allows you to do is to cut your copper pipe perfectly to the size you need. And then you slip this on the existing pipe, put your new piece up with the T, and then you can slip this over that pipe to make your connection. I'll show you this all as we go along. And obviously, we need to transition over to PEX. Difficult to do this with one hand, but obviously a street fitting street three-quarter copper to three-quarter packs um, got a right in there. pipe cutter here three-quarter gonna put this guy around here and I think I want to be right around here we're gonna go ahead and cut see I got a bucket here to catch the water I tapped off this on the other side once before for the basement bathroom actually it's just it's too far on the other side to run the pecs all the way across not a good way of doing it so we'll just cut this guy right here yeah, we'll be good like I said have a bucket ready to go to catch your your water <laughs> we're obviously at the point of no return now we're cut now we have to finish the job and the important thing when you're soldering pipes and I'm gonna go ahead and make another cut here like I said we have to we have to have some space here to put our coupler in the only important thing when you're soldering pipes is that you make sure you don't have any water in these pipes when you start soldering because what happens is that water as you apply your torch to the pipe starts to boil and create steam and the steam will blow your solder out as you're trying to solder up your connections and that's never a good thing you'll never be able to get a watertight joint with that happening <laughs> find something just to jam up in here for the time being to keep the pipe on a pitch for it to drain out all right so just clean all your fittings up obviously we're cleaning our t now three quarter pipe so we're using a three quarter pipe cleaner this one happens to be a you know half inch and three quarter Street PEX fitting, and that can just go into this. You can rough that up real good in here. Like we did with the fittings, we got to clean the pipe. So, again, just taking my mesh, and you can see how you just go around the hole outside of the pipe, clean it all up nice. Move all that oxidation off of there. Yeah, next step here is applying flux. So flux goes on all your fittings and all your pipes. Flux everything real well. 
solder won't flow if there's no flux present on the pipe or in the fittings just the way it is so make sure you hit everything all right so around the, the whole pipe you gotta put flux this guy will now go on there like that you just want to make sure you nest it all the way it's real important so now we have to get a measurement from the inside of the T where the pipe slips into to the outside of the existing pipe here. And that's going to be to cut our new piece of pipe to fit in here. All right, so the only thing you have to consider, let me zoom this out a little bit, the only thing you have to consider when you are picking up pipe to do a job is to make sure you get the right type of pipe. Now, type L pipe, this is copper we're talking about, type L copper is for domestic water, drinking water. So you're hot and cold in your house. Type M is for heat. You gotta deburr your pipes because when you cut this, it leaves a little ridge on the inside of it. Make sure your pipes are nested together. Your fittings, don't want them to be loose. We're going to take our slip coupler and we're going to push this onto the existing pipe out of the way. Now, before I do that, what I do is I'll hold my coupler up here and I'm going to split the pipe basically in two or split the coupler in two. And I'm going to mark on the existing pipe with my Sharpie where the edge of that is. So what that is, that's just a witness mark so I know how far to push this coupler onto the pipe once I get the a little section up in here, how far I gotta push this on so it's centered directly in the middle of the two pipes. All right, so now we will flux this up. I'm going to push the coupler over the existing pipe if I can. And now we should be able to take this guy, move this out of the way. You should be able to. What you can sometimes do is get your pump pliers and get it right on the edge and get yourself another pair and you can use like a hammer to smack the thing on that. There's my mark. I see it now. <laughs> All right, now I know I'm on. All right, now I'm right in the middle, so we're good. All right, so I'm gonna clean off excess flux. The only last thing we got to put on is put the PEX fitting onto our pipe. So for this, because gravity is gonna want to work against us in this fitting, what we could do. Just obviously flux everything up. All right, and you ever so slightly, and I mean ever so slightly, come here and just pinch the fitting a little bit. And what that'll do is it'll hold that guy in place so it doesn't move when you're trying to solder it. And that's it. Is everything ready to rock and roll here now? All right, so I use map gas when I am soldering just to get the job done a little quicker. You just have to make sure you don't start cooking your fittings with map gas because it heats up the pipe a lot quicker and hotter. When I start soldering, I like putting a little J hook on it. That way I can put the solder into the top of the fitting first. Uh, obviously you want to make sure you don't burn your house down in the process of doing this. That's an important thing. So if you're in a tight spot like I am here, you could sometimes take one of these guys and tack it up in place. All right, so this is a flame-proof piece of felt. I don't know the technical name for it, but it works really well. And what I'll do is I'll come up in here and I'll just tack this thing in place. My staple gun. Just like that. And now I don't have to worry about burning the subfloor of the house. Oh, 
flux coming out of there, that's all right. See what I'm talking about, how you're getting all that water steaming out of the fitting here, that's perfectly fine. Our solder. Nice joint. See everything taken really well so far. What you want to do is get yourself a wipe. Wipe it as you go. It gives you a nice clean job. Just like that. Looking good. Last fitting we got is our coupler. Alright guys, well I know that wasn't really the best video in the world, but it's tight quarters here. I can't really get up here to film it that well, but everything's all soldered on there now. We have our fitting for our PEX takeoff, and all we have to do is just crimp some PEX on there and put a valve on, and we'll be all set to turn the water back on. Uh, obviously we have to wait a little bit. We have to let that copper cool down. We don't want to melt the PEX. And uh, that's going to be it for uh, soldering. Mm -hmm.